Hey there everyone, I'm Belkifan08, and welcome back to Tales of Destiny! Last time we left Moreau, we beat the Kraken! That didn't work too well. And we really didn't waste any time because we went straight to our next destination, which is Terrassi Castle, where King Tiberius is waiting for us. And of course today we are gonna start our trip through Terrassi Castle. I say start because this place is insanely long. I still really like this dungeon though, it's pretty damn awesome. And the music, just listen to this. Bam bam! Really, really awesome. Anyway, let's go! So we have this guard guy right here. Do you want to pass through? Uh, sure, why not? Then it's gonna cost you 500 gold. Do you want to pay? Yeah, sure. Alright, you can go through. Thank you. So, yeah. If you want to go into this room, you need to pay that guy 500 gold all the time. And it's it's kind of worth it, because here we get a plate armor. Very nice. I'm going to give that to Stan right now. Not bad, not bad at all. And then we have this thing, a bush baby, baby statue. Are you tired? Sure. Do you want me to heal you for 500 gold? So you need to... Pay 500 to enter this room, and you need 500 to actually heal up. So a thousand gold to get fully healed. That's not bad, considering the this game is very easy to get money in. But the douchiest moment in the entire freaking game. You can't pass the guard again. <laughs> Do you want to pass through? Guess what? 500 more gold. Yes. I don't like this guy! <laughs> He's an asshole! <laughs> I guess being a guard doesn't really pay too well. <laughs> anyway, we have treasure here, of course. We get a juicy beef. Get used to getting food items. I believe 90% of the treasure chests in this dungeon is food items. And here you get a chestnut. And a persimmon. Yes, all food items. So, if you're hungry, I would really recommend you to pause this video right now and go and get the sandwich because there will be food. Oh my god, there will be food. <laughs> anyway, you want to have a battle. Oh well, it should be new enemies, so why not? Let's see. Wait, monk warriors? Are these the exact same ones as the one that we had before? Can't be. Is he gonna die now? If it is, yeah, yeah, it's prob probably the same, same ones. But we also have these, these dragon nudes, which is basically the lizard man 2.0, and that they're seasick instead of, well, nauseous since they're blue instead of green. <laughs> wow, that was, I was really grasping at straws right there. Oh well, none of these enemies, not that bad, really, really that bad. There's one enemy though in this place that I don't really like. Anyway, you want to, of course, press this uh, switch thing, which will, just like back in Moreau, drain the water. And now, we actually want to go back. Um, do you guys remember back in Moreau, I said, I don't need to go to the item shop, I don't need anything. I have three holy bottles. This dungeon is long, <laughs> and this just gotta be an even longer now. <laughs> God, I'm an idiot. Oh well, let's just make the best of it, I suppose. Damn it. <laughs> oh, that's bad. That's so bad. Oh, another new enemy. Warfish. And Imp Snail. The Warfish, as you see, they will cast spells. And the Imp Snails are the enemies in this place that I hate the most. Because they're so damn small. Ow, Ice Wall, really. We need to take this guy out. He's gonna hurt. But yeah, the Imp Snails. They are so annoying. They will attack you with a electrical type of attack. And I don't know why. It's just, it hits so much, it seems. And it does so much damage. It's insane. I hate them. <laughs> and I got a card. Ah, okay. Insert color to the joke right here, I suppose. <laughs> Yay, level up. Sweet. But yeah, anyway, we want to go down here now. The right si or the left side is actually the one that we want to to go through to progress. But of course, we have a lot of treasures here. We get a wormy apple. 
damn it. We get a orange, we get sour milk, and we get a loser. Is the game seriously calling me a loser? What the hell is the loser anyway? I actually can't remember. A loser softy cream stick. Make sure to deposit in the trash container. And it's equipment, but no one can equip it. Interesting. Oh, rotten orange. Thank you, game. Well, at least it's not minus in the food sack. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, you see this little bonsai tree right here. You want to grab it, and you want to pull it out of the way, because it will show a staircase behind it. So let's go down. And of course, there will be more treasures here. Oh, very nice. We get a mitral mesh. Oh, sweet. I love that armor in Fantasia. We get a Baiva. Don't know what that is. We get a cross helm. Oops. <laughs> Wasted money. And we get a lemon gel. What the hell is the Baiva anyway? Oh, it's a weapon for Johnny. Oh, I see. Equip it at once. <laughs> and the mitral mesh going right on Philia. Sweet. And I wasted money on those cross helms, but... Oh, well, no big deal, really. And of course, we have more treasures here. We have a apple. We have jam. We have a battle, of course. There we go. Same exact enemies as we've seen before. We get the sour milk. Our rotten orange. Thank you, game. And a wormy apple. Sheesh. Okay, I, I can... I can... I, I like that we get food. Okay. Maybe... King Tiberius is a is a big guy, I know. Maybe he's eat, he eats a lot, maybe. I don't know, but... Rotten food, really? Blowfish. Oh, well, that's actually deadly for you. And more beef flakes. But why do I get rotten food? That's not fun at all. <laughs> and a juicy beef. Of course. Sheesh, so much food. This is a food dungeon. Wow. It's like the desert ruins in Sonic Lost Worlds. Which is an awesome stage, and an awesome game by the way. If you have a Wii U, I would really, really recommend you to check it out. <laughs> anyway, we got an eel. More food, of course. And we now are actually now outside. It's a little bit weird to see in a dungeon, we actually get outside. Oh, come on! Treasure chest right there! I just ran away. <laughs> anyway, in this blue treasure chest, we have the revitalized disc. Very damn nice. I don't really know who's gonna get it though. Let's see. No. Uh. Nah. Actually, I'm gonna give it to Philia. Yeah, it's better than the one that she got before, so why not? But don't get fooled into thinking that you now got the revitalized spell. No, that disc gives tractor beat. Even though Philia already got it, it's not really. Well, it's not better than any other character's disc, so I don't really know why the disc is called Revivalize, though. I mean, that's a spell. At least later on. And for those who play the later games and thought, Oh my god, I just got an awesome healing spell! Nope, you did not. <laughs> and yes, for those who was wondering, I got tricked by that one, too. <laughs> anyway, so now we actually want to go all the way back to the guard guy. So I'm gonna cut, and I am gonna meet you guys over there. Alrighty, we are back. I just healed up, and I'm ready to go the other way this time. Yes, indeed. Now, as I said, this dungeon is pretty damn big. But, uh, I will still say that I like it more than Moreau Castle, just because you don't need to go back and forth all the time in this place. Anyway, here we get a juicy beef. And then you want to check this wall for... God damn it, game! <laughs> Aye, aye, aye. As I was trying to say, you want to check this wall. Because there are, hid there are actually hidden treasure chests here. You get a lemon gel. And you get a pine gel. In the wall of all things. Okay, <laughs> why not? <laughs> and now we want to go down here. Yes, I really prefer this dungeon over the uh, Moreau Castle. Because this place is actually very straightforward. While Moreau Castle, you need to go a lot back and forth. But, uh, yeah, enough about that. I also really like that you actually go outside in this dungeon. Because you don't really do that much. But, uh... Oh, and by the way, if you don't want to get all these treasures this treasure chests now, you can actually do it after you defeat the boss. And as you see now, we are back here, where we uh, flip the switch to drain the water. 
yeah, as I said, we are now back at the uh, the uh, room left of the guard guy. And as I also was saying, <laughs> if you don't want to get all these treasure chests now, you can do it after you defeat the boss, because then there will be no random encounters in this place. So it's really up to you. I'm gonna get these treasure chests now though. And just like in Moreau Castle, you want to check behind every big bush. Yeah, I know, I know. Or every tree in this in this dungeon. Because there is usually at least two treasure chests behind every tree. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> As you see, a lot of stuff. Let's see. Yes, there's one more there. Yes, yes. Oh, come on. You can sometimes see a little bit of a treasure chest, but you can never see them all. <laughs> but if you, you just think, okay, there's usually at least one, at least two treasure chests behind the tree. And even though it looks like there's only one here. Ah, well, anyway. Ooh, nothing there. Wow, that's surprising. Let's go to the next screen. And there's still outside. Sweet. And we get a melon. A melon. And a melon. Yeah. Nice. And here we get a green gel, but I can't get it. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm going to use one. Fine. <laughs> you win, game. You win. Uh, green gel. There we go. This and we get a orange. <laughs> Come on, I don't care. I get a life bottle, a Dorian, a Dorian. I remember this one, a Dorian, and a Dorian. <laughs> a lot of food, as I said. A juicy beef. I wonder if King Tiberius is a big guy since there's a lot of food here. We get the juicy beef, and that's it. Oh, and we get a flare bottle. Finally, something that's not food. I think by the end. Oh. Okay, sweet. And upstairs, we, or the ladder, we get a Merlon shell. Let's go back inside. How much do you want to bet that all those treasure chests over there got food in them? Anyone? No? <laughs> Smart people. Because indeed, it's only food. Just food in all nine treasure chests. Oh, chicken. I already have that. Look at this! Wow! <laughs> This is pretty insane. But I think actually this is a pretty good place to stop. I will say this is maybe the halfway point. So next time we are gonna finish off this dungeon. Or at least get to the end before the boss. How much more food can we get? Oh believe me, it's a lot. <laughs> so I thank you all for watching and I see you all then.